Mr. Pickwick presents a wonderful new selection of videos that will entertain and enthrall for ages to come. Pinocchio, Jack and the Beanstalk, The Incredible Creatures, wonderful stories of adventure and fantasy. Little Women, classic fairy tales, and the famous five. A whole world of magical tales brought to you by Mr. Pickwick. Those are beans. Magic beans, my boy. Uh, can't tell you what they'll do. Oh, Jack, you're such a dreamer. I knew that goofy old guy was telling the truth. Jack follows his dreams, but discovers a dangerous world above the clouds. Three, five, four, fum! I smell the blood of a little lost one. Me and my stupid beans. Join the little women as they celebrate the changing seasons. Guys, look at all the food that's out here. Merry Christmas. I remember not long ago there was always this much to eat. To my dearest wife and children, I wish that I could be there with you. I love and miss you all very much, and I hope the war will soon be over. Your mother needs all your help. Please try and do what you can for her. There's nothing funny going on around here, and I'm going to find out what it is. The famous five investigate the secrets of Mystery Moor. They're old railway lines. Wonder where go. That's a bad place. Don't any of you ever go down there again. See anyone in the car? There must have been someone driving it. They must be out there somewhere. Get after them. The chase is on for the famous five. I warned you not to come down here. Right, you creatures, listen here. The champ challenges you all to a boxing match. You've got a week to prepare yourselves. If he sees we're afraid, he might not try to stay. I suggest that we go into training. Secret Valley is the home for some incredible creatures. I don't know the first thing about boxing. And some even more incredible stories. Trust me to pick a fight with a bunch of fitness fanatics. I could get hurt. <laughs> You're the only thing I've had that's like a child. If only you could talk and walk like a real boy, I'd be so happy and proud. I'm going to give you the gift of life, Pinocchio. The timeless story of Pinocchio takes him on a magical adventure. Please tell me how to get to Devil's... Huh? But Pinocchio, no one has ever made it back from Devil's Mountain. Uh, oh. Not so fast! I can't keep up with you! Look out! Oh. I think we've caught our prize. <laughs> Mr. Pickwick unveils some classic fairy tales, including Puss in Boots, the magical story of the ugly duckling. Rapunzel and the handsome prince. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I may climb without a stare. See how the four musicians fare on their journey to the big city. Can the princess prove she is really royal? And is the emperor really wise to wear his new clothes in public? Magical mystery. Marvel entertainment. From Mr. Pickwick.
And when my name is Jay, I jump and jump and jump and jump all day. My name is K, and I say K. K is for kettle. K K K K. My name is L, and I say La. La is for lion. <laughs> Song. Can you sing? Oh, great! You can join in too. Oh, do because it's great fun. We'll sing the song again now. My name is A, and I say Ah. Ah is for apple. Ah, 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 ah. My name is B, and I say Ba. That's why banana. Begins with ba. C cat cats can cuddle up. D da dogs do digging up. E a elephants trumpet up, up and up to F. Ba frog. My name is G, and I say ga. Ga is for grumpy. Ga 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 ga. My name is H, and I say ha. Ha is for happy. Ha 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 ha. And when my name is I, I it, it, itch a bit. And when my name is J, I jump and jump and jump and jump all day. My name is K, and I say K. K is for kettle. K K K K. My name is L. And I say la. La is for lion. La 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 la. M makes men go off to mo mo mo. N says no, not never, no no no. Octopuses live down below, down below the deep blue sea. My name is P. And I say pa. Pa is for penguin. Pa 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 pa. My name is Q, and I say Qua. Qua is for quack quack. Quack 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 quack. And when my name is R, I run and run all day. And when my name is S, I slip and slide as you can surely see. My name is T, and I say Ta. Ta is for tiger. Ta 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 ta. My name is U, and I say ah. Under umbrellas, we say ah ha. 
be very, very quick. Vroom, vroom. W, wiggle, wiggle, whiz, wham. X as in six big saxophones. Saxophones are extra loud. My name is Y. And I say ya. My yellow yo-yo begins with a. My name is Z. And I say za. And I go zigzag, zig, zag, zig when I must That was fun, wasn't it? Did you enjoy yourselves? So did I. My name is Neris, and this is Stuart, and this is Carrie Ann, and this is Wesley, and this is Victoria. I wonder how many of you know your alphabet. Do you know your alphabet? Do you? you all know it? Oh, that's good. Well, the alphabet has 26 letters in it, and they're all different shapes and sizes and sounds. We've got, for instance, A for apple, there up at the top. I'm sure you remember some of those letters from the song we've just sung, don't you? I wonder if, Stuart, you can find for me K, not K for cat, but K for kangaroo. Yes, cut the kangaroo. And look at the baby kangaroo there in its mother's pouch. That's where they stay when they're babies, don't they? Now, Victoria, I wonder if you can find V. Good. V. And there we've got a violin. But what's V for as well as a violin? Victoria. Victoria. V for Victoria. Now, Wesley, will you please find for me a for umbrella. Do you think you can find that? Where's a for umbrella? Mm, uh, ma, ma, ma. Stuart, can you help? Yes, there's a for umbrella for when it's raining. Now, come back here with me because we want to stand and we want to see all these lovely letters, don't we? Now then, can Stuart please find me Oh, oh, for octopus. Look at all his tentacles. Look at them all like this, and he lives in the bottom of the sea, doesn't he? We heard about him in the song, eight, didn't we? Eight legs. Eight legs. Carrie Ann says there are eight legs on an octopus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Say no, the numbers and the letters. Now then, I wonder if I lift Carrie Ann up, can she find for me K? Oh, good girl. That's K. K for cat. I've got two cats, and they're always going meow, meow all the time. They're always hungry, my cats. Have you got a cat? No. Victoria, can you find for me, please, T? Uh, there. Oh, Wesley's found it for us. You come back here. Thank you very much, Wesley. You're getting very good at this guessing game. Victoria, can you find for me M for mug? M. Good. M for mug. Now, this is quite a difficult one. This is J. Can you find a J, Stuart? Oh, Victoria's found it. There it is. J for jam. That was good fun, wasn't it? Now, we'll leave the alphabet and we'll go over here very quietly. Shh. Shh. Very, very quiet. Just listen. What can you hear? Nothing. You can't hear anything, can you? Because there are no sounds. Now, I know you can make lots of sounds. I've heard you making lots of sounds. Can you do some sounds for me? You can clap, or you can sing, or you can say your name. Make some sounds for me, as loud as you like. Go on. Hooray! <laughs> that was very good. I'm sure you could make more sounds than that. I know what we'll do. We'll all make as much noise as we can, but not all together, one at a time. You all to think of your favourite game, and then we'll say it as loudly as we can. Stuart, what do you think your favourite game is, or your favourite toy, your toy or game? What is it? 
My favourite game is snakes and ladders. Snakes and ladders. Well, now I want you to say as loud as you can, snakes and ladders, all right? When I say go. Go. Snakes and ladders! Woo! That was quite good. I think you can do it even louder, though, right? One, two, three, go. Snakes and ladders! Oh, that was wonderful, wasn't it? Did you say your favourite game loudly, too? Now, let's ask Carrie ann What's your favourite game? Or, or swimming. Swimming. You like swimming. Do you think you can say it ever so loudly? One, two, three. Swimming! Oh, wonderful. They could have heard that right down the road, down there. Now, here we come to Wesley. What's your favourite, Wesley? Uh, playing on my go-kart. Playing on his go-kart. Now, I want you to stand up and say Go, Kart, as loud as you can. Right, one, two, three. Go, Kart! Oh, that was fantastic. I think we all should give him a clap for that, do you? <laughs> Very good. And now, Victoria, what's your favourite? Katie, my dolly. Katie, her dolly. Oh, do you think she'll have a fright if you call out her name too loudly? Oh, do you think she will? Well, you can do it medium loud then, all right? You call out Katie and see if she replies. Go on. Katie! Hello, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't Katie, that was me being silly, wasn't it? That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Now, do you know what we'll do now? We'll all shout out as loudly as we can all our games and toys. And you join in as well, will you? As loud as you can. And Mummy too. One... Two, three. Snakes! And a big clap for all of us. That was lovely, wasn't it? I've got a good game. Do you know what it is? It's what can you hear? Now, what you have to do with this game is I make noises and then you have to listen to what the noises are and hold up your hand when you think you know what it is. All right? Right. Here comes the very first noise. <sighs> Carrie Ann? A train. A train! Did you get that as well? Yes, oh, that's good. Now, what's this noise? <coughs> a cat! Oh, Wesley knew it. It's a cat. Now, what's this noise? Wesley knows them all. And you're not holding your hand up. You hold your hand up next time, all right? Please. Because then all the others can have a go as well, can't they? Did you all get that at home? The dog? Did you? That's good. Now, this is a very quiet one. You've always got to listen to this very quietly, right? A Stuart. clock. A clock. A clock. That's right. Now, this is a funny one. This one walks in a very funny way because he usually likes being on water. Quack, 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 quack. A duck. <laughs> duck, that's right. Wesley gets them all and doesn't put his hand up, does he? But still, that was very good, I must say. I don't think I'm all that good at these sounds. I'm sure you can make much better sounds than me. Do you think you can? Can you do a good sound? Now, Victoria is going to make this noise, and we've all got to guess what it is. All right? Quiet now. Shh, very quiet. Go on, Victoria. <coughs> Oh, it's a little tiny sound. Do it again. Do it again so they can hear that. Oh, what do you think it is, Carrie Ann? A guinea pig. A guinea pig, is it? Well done. Have you got a guinea pig? No? Well, that was very clever to know what it was, wasn't it? Can somebody ask, can you do a sound for us, Stuart? Meow. Ooh, what's that, Victoria? Cat. It's a cat, <laughs> that's right. Carrie Ann, what can you do? Can you do a sound for us? What can you do? Everybody very quiet while Carrie Ann does a sound. Boop. Oop, do a bit more than that. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh. Dog. A dog, that's right. Well, we've had two cats. We've had my cat and your cat. We've had two dogs, my dog and your dog, haven't we? <laughs> Letters tell us what sounds to say. See if you can hear the sounds in these words. Buzz. Now, B. <laughs> yes, that's it. It starts with ba, but buzz has ba, 
ה, ז, ז. Buzz. See if you can all make that sound, all right? Buzz. What? What sounds were in that? Ba, ba, a, z, z, buzz. That's good. Now this is a really good one. This is a good one. This is ping, and in ping we've got pa, e. Na, ga, ping. When I was a little girl, we used to call table tennis ping pong. Perhaps the mummies will remember that. I don't know if you call it ping pong, do you? Oh, good, do you, Stuart? I think it's a really good name because when the ball hits the table, it goes ping, and when the bat hits it, it goes pong. So it goes ping pong, ping pong. Should we all say ping pong? Ping pong, ping pong. It's good, isn't it? And now I know another good word. It's pop. P -a -a -p. Pop. pop. Now, I try to do that funny noise that you can make for pop, and I can't do it. Can you do it with your mouth? Can you do that? Nearly. Ooh, that was a good one. I can't do it. You know, again, when I was a little girl, we used to call fizzy lemonade pop. Because when you opened the bottle, the cork went pop, and all the fizz went up your nose. It still does, isn't it? I love that, do you? I think it's really good. Can you remember the first sound in the song? What's the first sound? What is it? A. That's right. A. Ah. My name is A. A. And A. I say A. 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 A is for A. apple. Ah, 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 ah. That's good, isn't it? Now, in the song, A, or A, ah, was for apple, but A ah has lots and lots of other words. It's not just A ah for apple. It has A ah for arrow, A ah for axe, A ah for alligator. He's a nice alligator, isn't he? And what's the second letter in the alphabet? Stuart? B. 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 Now, what have we got here? Ball. Ball. A bouncy, bouncy ball. And we've got bat. bat. That's what we can play our ping pong with, isn't it? Or cricket. We, we use a bat for cricket, don't we? And what's this? Bed. Bed. What colour's your bed, Carrie Ann? What have you got on your bed? You've got bunk beds. Oh, what fun. Now then, what have we got here? Oh, I love this sound. This is a really good sound. It's s s s And this suffle. Suffle. Sandwich. Yum, yum. Now, what else have we got? We've got, oh, what's this letter? What's this lovely letter? House. Ha, ha, for house. Oh, that's a very smart house, isn't it? It's got a yellow roof. Like ya for yellow trousers. Ya for yellow roof. Now, what's that? What's hedgehog. that there? Ha for hedgehog. Can you see there, Stuart? Ga goat. Ga gate. Ja jelly. Da for dinosaur. Have you all seen dinosaurs? Yes. They're lovely, aren't they? They're great, huge, big thing dinosaurs. Duh for dinosaurs. And what's that for? Ta for television. Ta for television. And what's the letter for Zephyr this? Zebra. Zephyr Zebra. You can think of all sorts of names for things that begin with Z. And we've got zip. Has anybody got a zip? Yes. Oh, you've got a zip. And the button's undone. You ate too much dinner, didn't you? Let's see. I've got some buttons. Oh, you've got some buttons, but Stuart's got a zip. Has anybody else got a zip? The zip goes zip, zip. So that's a good word, isn't it? Z for zebra, z for zip. And sometimes, if you feel a bit sleepy, sometimes you go, I think I'll just have a little zzzz. I haven't really fallen asleep, I'm only pretending. <laughs> another very good game. It's called I Spy with My Little Eye. Now, I'll go first and you guess. And you 
guess it, you put your hand up, and then you can go and point to whatever it is. And you can join in at home too, all right? I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with K. What is it, Victoria? Well done! It's K for clock. Very good. Now it's your turn. Victoria's turn now. All right, have a look round and decide what you want. And all you'll be thinking, because it's when it's your turn, you'll have to think of something. All right, so you I have a... I with my little eye something beginning with T. She spies with her little eye something beginning with T. 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 Stuart, do you know what it is? You say first. Tiger. Is it tiger? Good boy. Lovely. You can bring the tiger back here if you like. So Thank we've got you. someone beginning with S to go next. Who could that be? Now, what's Stuart going to do? I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. F. Oh, Carrie Ann, what do you think it is? You're not quite sure? Have another think now, then. Let's have a think. See if well, I can. Need to give you a clue. Yes, give us all it's a clue. It's on the wall. It's on the wall. Right. Um, fish. Ah. Carry on. Fish. Fish. Not for for fish either. Can you guess what it is? No, neither can I. Um, it's on the wall. Fa 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 fa. It's hanging up. Oh, okay, I've got my hand up. Is it frame? Frame! I won! Frame! That was a very difficult one. You were very clever to ask that, because that lasts the longest, didn't it? So, it's my turn, but because I feel in a very nice mood, I'm going to share it with Wesley. So, Wesley and I are going to do this one together. I spy Why? with my Why? little Why? eye something Why? beginning Why? with ruh. Ruh. Yes, Victoria? Rabbit. No, not rabbit. Stuart? Is it, um... Red? No, it's not red, is it, Wesley? No, not red, not rough a red. Victoria? Is it rat? No, it's not rough a rat. No, no, is it, is it Wesley? No. No? Now then, shall we give them a clue? Yes? It's lots of colours. What can you see on the back? It's got lots and lots of colours. Yes, Stuart? Rainbow. Rainbow! Let's all give Stuart a clap. We're going to sing some nursery rhymes from this lovely book. And the first song we're going to sing is The Wheels on the Bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. The windscreen wiper on the bus goes Windscreen wiper on the bus goes swish, swish, swish all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. Beep, beep! They're all going to play Ring a Ring of Roses, aren't we? Will you join in and play Ring a Ring of Roses? Oh, that's good. Let's go! Ring a Ring a Roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down! Ring a Ring a Roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down! Ring a Ring a Roses, a pocket full of
We've got Wiggly Woo the Worm. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and all that he can do is to wiggle all night and wiggle all night. And they all live in the zoo. In the zoo. What does zoo begin with? Yes, Stuart? Zuff. Zuff a zoo. Z-O-O. Z-O-O. And we've got some lovely animals here. What's that animal there? Monkey. A monkey. I and sometimes, if you're naughty, people say, you naughty monkey, don't they? Because they are quite naughty. Has anyone seen one at a zoo? Um, You've seen I 20, saw, have you? I saw them on the television. Oh, you've seen them on the television. Have you seen any monkeys? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? And they can chatter away, can't they? They can be jolly good friends, monkeys can. And what have we here? Panda. A panda. And they're really cuddly pandas, aren't they? And what do they eat? Does anybody know what they eat? I know. They eat bamboo. Quite right. What does bamboo begin with? Ba. Ba. Ba for bamboo. And what does panda begin with? Ba. Pa for panda. Pa for panda. Ba for bamboo. Oh, and Tiger. look at him. This is a green crocodile, and it's cuff for crocodile, not a for alligator. Is it like the alligator that you saw? Yes, yes. does it look Mommy like him? They do look quite alike, really, alligators and crocodiles. But this one is definitely a crocodile. Because do you think he's count. smiling? Because you can tell he's fat. He is fat. And do you think he's smiling because he can see his lunch? Yes. yes. Do you think he's going to go, oh, and eat something yes. up? Yes. Oh, I, I like that. Elephant. What's that? Elephant. elephant. And what elephant. does elephant begin with? E. F. F. F for elephant. F. I can see something there that makes a noise like this. Listen. Snake. Snake. A snake. And I'd be really scared of snakes. Suff for snake. And do you know what they do? If they... they and they've got a tongue. That starts out like that. Mm. And sometimes they have poison in their tongues, don't yeah, they? It so you have to be very, very it's careful of snakes. Like grass snakes, when they touch you, you go. <sighs> yes. Oh, are you all right, Stuart? Yeah. Oh, but I thought he wasn't well then, but he's all right. He's come back to life again. And what have we got? Puff for penguin. Have you watched when you've gone they to the go zoo? Like that. They do. They go flap, flap, flap. And have you watched them being fed? Yes, yes, we they did. Feed by fish. They do. You're quite right. People but what else? What else have we got here? What else likes fish? It's polar a polar bear. No, it's not a panda. It's a polar bear. P for polar, B for bear, and C for cub. Look at the little baby one. Isn't that lovely? We got... What was that? Okay. That one there says leopard. And he's got spots all over. Le leopard is a cheetah. Well, there's leopards and there's cheetahs. We haven't got a cheetah on here, but it's a different animal, but they do look quite alike. Oh, look what Carrie Ann brought for us. Isn't that sweet, two little cubs? Oh, they're almost as cuddly as you. And what have we got here? What's this? A rhinoceros! A rhinoceros! Rough a rhinoceros! What Those lovely animals we've long. got here. I love animals, do you? Uh, sir? Yes. And I love going to the zoo, do you? No. Yes. <laughs> and, sir, a snake. Stories are made up of lots and lots of words. And in this story, we've got Billy, that's two luz in Billy. And we've got Gruff, and there's two fuzz in Gruff. So the three, Billy, Goats, Gruff. And the three's got two e's. The three's got two e's, of course it has. Two e's, two l's, and two f's. Two es, two luz, and two fuzz. The three Billy Goats Gruff. 
I know that Victoria likes this story. You told me it was your favourite, didn't you? All right. Snuggle up, then. Come on. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats gruff. There's the big one, there's the middle-sized one, and there's the little one. One fine day, the three billy goats gruff set off up the hillside. They were going to look for some sweet grass to eat so that they could grow fat. Mm. On the way up the hillside, the three billy goats gruff came to a river. On the other side of the river was a beautiful <coughs> meadow. In the meadow was the finest grass they'd ever seen. Can you see the green grass? There was a wooden bridge over the river. Under the bridge, there lived an ugly troll. People were afraid to cross the bridge because of the troll. Every time he heard footsteps on the bridge, he popped out and gobbled up the person who was trying to cross. Oh, there's our word pop again, isn't there? Pa, o, pa, pop. The three billy goats gruff were very frightened at the thought of the troll, yet they longed to eat the sweet grass in the meadow on the other side of the river. After a while, the youngest billy goat gruff said that he would be the first to try to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap went the hoof of the youngest billy goat gruff on the wooden bridge. Out popped the troll's ugly head. He was so ugly that the youngest billy goat gruff nearly fell down with fright. <coughs> over my bridge roared the troll mm, he's a bit scary isn't he look at his hairy arms <coughs> the youngest billy goat gruff spoke in a tiny voice it's only me the littlest billy goat gruff he said i'm going to the meadow to make myself fat then i'm coming to gobble you up roared the troll. Mm, it's very scary, this, isn't it? Oh, no! Please don't gobble me up, said the youngest billy goat gruff in a tiny voice. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second billy goat gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well, said the troll. Be off with you. I'll wait until the second billy goat gruff comes along. Oh, look at the pleased look on the little billy goat gruff's face. He's so happy because the troll's not going to eat him up after all. So the youngest billy goat gruff crossed the bridge and skipped off into the meadow to eat the sweet grass. Then the second billy goat gruff said that he would try to cross the bridge. Let's all say this together. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the hooves of the second billy goat gruff on the wooden bridge. Oh, that was really good the way you said that. Will you join in as well? Will you say it as well? Trip, trap, trip, trap. Ooh, what happens next? Out popped the troll's ugly head. He was so ugly that the and Billy Goat Gruff nearly fell down with fright. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, he's so ugly, isn't he? Look at his horrible nails and his hairy arms. I'd be frightened of that troll, would you? The second Billy Goat Gruff spoke in a rather soft voice. Do you know why he'd got only a soft voice? He was scared. He was scared, that's why. Ah, uh, it's only me, the second billy goat gruff, he said. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. Then I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Oh no, please don't gobble me up, said the second billy goat gruff in his rather soft voice. I'm not very big and I'm not very fat. Wait until the third billy goat gruff comes along. He's very big and very fat. Oh, look, do you think he's big and fat? No. no. He's quite skinny, really, isn't he? 
Very well, said the troll. Be off with you. I'll wait until the third billy goat gruff comes along. So the second billy goat gruff crossed the bridge and skipped off into the meadow to eat the sweet grass. Then at last up came the eldest billy goat gruff to try to cross the bridge. He was a very big billy goat. His beard was long and his horns were almost fully grown. Look at those horns. <laughs> Aren't they huge? You can tell because he's fat because... Yes, he is quite fat. He's the juiciest of them all, isn't he? This is the biggest billy goat gruff and so he doesn't just go trip, trap, trip, trap. He goes bang, 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 bang. All right, everyone together now. Trip, trap, trip, trap, bang, 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 bang. bang. Went the hooves of the eldest billy goat gruff on the wooden bridge. Out popped the troll's ugly head. He was so ugly that the eldest billy goat gruff nearly fell down with fright. But he did not show it. He only stamped his hooves harder. Right, even louder this time. All right. Trip, trap, trip, trap, bang, 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 bang. Ooh, I should think Troll's pretty frightened at that, don't you? Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? roared the troll. The eldest billy goat gruff's voice was even louder and even gruffer than the troll's voice. It's me, the biggest billy goat gruff! He bellowed. Ooh. Then I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Oh, no, you are not, bellowed the eldest billy goat gruff. I'm coming to gobble you up. And he stamped his feet even louder. Trip, trap, trip, trap, bang, 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 bang. After that, the eldest billy goat gruff butted the troll with his big horns. The troll fell off the bridge and into the river. Look at him falling off. Oh, he does look silly, doesn't he? He looks really frightened. The ugly troll fell headfirst into the deep water. There was a mighty splash and he did not come up again. So that was the end of the ugly troll. From that time on, people went over the bridge without fear. Never again did the troll pop his head out from under the bridge to roar. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Then the three billy goats gruff lived happily in the meadow on the hillside. They ate the sweet grass and they really did get fat. <laughs> I've got a really good game now. It's called the buzzer bell game. And if you get your questions right, you get a bell like this. And if you get your questions wrong, you have a buzzer like this. <laughs> what you've got to do, you look on this board and you see what letter is there and what word is there. Now, put your hands up if you know what that word is. What is it, Stuart? But. Bat, good boy. Now, what's the first letter? B. It's B for bat. Can anybody tell me, please, what's the second letter? Yes. A. A. Good. What's the third letter, Victoria? T. T. All bells. That was very good indeed. Now we'll have another word. Now, what's the first letter of this word? Three. Yes. C. C, that's K. Um, and the second letter, yes, Stuart? L. L. And the third, Victoria? O. R. And I've just seen the same letter again. What's C. that? K. Yes, C and K. So what does... Yes, Victoria, what's the whole word? Clock. Clock, which goes very, very quiet. Let's all do it very quietly. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Mm. Now we'll have another word. Oh, this is a nice, happy word. <laughs> this is a lovely, happy word. Ha, 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 ha. ha. What's the first letter? F. F. 
Oh. And what's the set? You want to do it all? What's the whole word? F-U-N-N-Y. Oh, very good. I think we can have a lot of bells for that. And fa a na na ya makes... Funny. We've got another word now. Ooh, this, this one makes a funny noise. What's the first letter there, Victoria? D. And what's the second letter? Tinker. U. U, that's a. D. And the third one, Victoria? D. C. And what's the very last letter? Yes. Yes, what is it, Stuart? Kicking car. Kicking car. Kicking car. So that's a duck. And what noise does a duck make? Quack, 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 Carrie Ann and Victoria and Wesley are drawing their names in the sand. And Stuart is doing a lovely suck for Stuart on pencil and paper. Can we see it, Stuart? Oh, that's a beautiful one. If you haven't got any sand, you've got some pencil and paper, perhaps. And could you draw your names, or just the first letter of your name, perhaps, on the pencil and paper? And if you've got a name beginning with suh, like Stuart, you can do a lovely big fat suh like Stuart's done. All right. Now then, could we please have cuff for cat? Cuff for cat. Oh, that's a lovely cuff for cat. Have you done a cuff for cat? Lovely. Very, very good. And now we'll have fa for feather. Fa for feather. Oh, no. Oh, that's a lovely fa for feather. Can you do that? Very good. Look, look. Oh, look at all that sand. And now, can we have, please, tough for tea time? Look at this. Oh, that's a lovely tough for tea time. That is a beautiful tough for tea time. I know. Should we go and play in the sand now? Oh, what fun. I love playing in the sand. I'll put some more on there. I've barely got See one. See how much hand. we can put on. <laughs> We've all had a lovely time, haven't we? I hope you've enjoyed yourselves too. And remember, you can learn your alphabet when you sing the alphabet song. Will you sing with us? Because the more letters you learn, the more new and exciting words you can write. So we'll sing the song again. But bye for now. Goodbye. My name is A. And I say ah. A is for apple. My name is B, and I say ba. That's why banana begins with ba. C cat cats can cuddle up. D the dogs do digging up. E a elephants trumpet up. Up and up to F for frog. My name is G, and I say ga. Ga is for grumpy. And I say ha Ha is for happy Ha 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 And when my name is I I itch it, it a bit And when my name is J I jump and jump and jump and jump all day My name is K And I say ka Ka is for My name is L, and I say La. La is for lion. <laughs> la, la, la. M makes men go off to mo mo mo. N says no, not never, no, no, no. Octopuses live down below, down below the deep blue sea. My name is P, and I say Pa. Pa is for I 
say T. T is for tiger. T, 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 T. My name is U. And I say Ah. Uh. Under umbrellas, we say Ah, uh, Ah. Uh. Be very, very quick. Vroom, vroom. W, wiggle, wiggle, whiz, wham. X as in six big saxophones. Saxophones are X. And I go zigzag, zigzag, zig when I'm a zoo.